screaming about this constantly. So the only way to do it is to start documenting content. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to start trying to document every trip I go on. Um, it is January 24th, 2021. Um, I am on 476 North, driving up to the Poconos, going fishing with a, uh, a guy named John. I met on a Facebook group. Um, we're going ice fishing. I, I've been wanting to try ice fishing for a while. I don't really have any tackle on me. He has a ton of it. He told me just wear warm clothes, bring a lunch, and show up. We're going to fish for a few hours. It's, uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning right now. I am... 45 minutes from my destination we're meeting off the turnpike and then going to where we're going from there um, I live in Delaware County Pennsylvania uh, just south of Philadelphia around media PA um, I love to fish I, I I've been saying I need to do this for a while right now I'm recording on an iPad I'm gonna try and get a GoPro and start getting some uh, first-person shots of everything obviously like most pages do but for now, I'm working with what I got. Um, we're going ice fishing in a Pocono Lake, uh, kind of near the... I actually ended up going somewhere different. He changed the plans on me last minute, but uh, I just wanted to not say where I went. We're going for pike, pickerel, perch, panfish, that type of fishing. He said we're using tip-ups and we're jigging. Sounds like normal ice fishing stuff from the research I've done. I, uh, I've never gone ice fishing before. I have done a lot of fishing. I, I I grew up in South Jersey in the Gloucester County area near Bridgeport in the Gibbstown, Paulsboro area. Um, tons of great largemouth bass fishing. I used to have a flat bottom boat. And I, I just grew up with love to fish. Just started from my father between fishing trips and crabbing. Um, and just continued by myself. It's just something I love to do. But uh, between moving from there to where I live now, I still just keep up my love of fishing. Um, I stay on it all the way through striper season to flounder season, um, late fall for weak fish. Um, I, I'd love to get into black drum this year. That's one thing I want to try and, and get into a new fishing type this year. Um, I fish carp. I love trout fishing. Um, I love blackfish and tog. I don't know about you guys, whoever's going to be chiming into this. Blackfish and tog is one of my favorite fish. I'm going to try and really hammer down on that beginning season and late season for that this year. Um, I just finished up going out three times this year out of Belmar, New Jersey. They've been having a great year. Um, I have not on the boats. I have been having a great year on the land. Uh, more in the Sea Isle, Ocean City, and Manasquan areas. But I, uh, I went out with the Ocean Explorer twice. Great boat. I didn't have as much luck as I'd like on a couple windy days. Uh, it was my choice to go out on a windy day on a weekend when I could be able to go, but it is what it is. I'm going to try and start mixing it up with weekday trips. Um, I went out on the Captain Cal, too, as well. Um, both great boats. I like Belmar, New Jersey. I like the Jersey Shore. You're, you're missing out if you don't at least try to attempt to fish our fisheries. It's a, it's a great place. The flounder season last year was incredible, and I look forward to the next one this year, so... Um, I am a striper fisherman. I'm not a great striper fisherman. I'm going to try and get better this year. I, uh, I love carp fishing. I wouldn't call myself amazing at it, but I had a pretty successful year last year. And, uh, I love trout fishing, but I, I really strayed away from it last year just because, uh, it was really busy waters in the Delaware County area. And with my work schedules, I tried to, uh, invest my time on, on more meaningful trips, but... This year, I'm really trying to just do as many trips as I possibly can and document them for you. I, uh, if the spring is nice and not crazy rainy, I'm usually fishing three to five days a week. During the summer, I try to fish every day if my girlfriend will let me. And uh, once the fall and the winter hits, it, it goes back down to about three times a week and then probably once a week once winter hits. But I, I try to fish every week of the year. It's really just what I love to do. So. Um, I don't have the most expensive tackle. I have a good job. I'm going to try and start buying some more better stuff. And, uh, yeah, more better. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to just try and have my best fishing year yet. Looking to try and buy a boat for flounder season. If I don't, you're going to see a lot of rental trips out of Sea Isle, out of, uh, Larson's Marina. Three generations of John there. Big John. Young John. And the littlest one. 
Fucking love that place. Good place. Just good cheap rental. You go out flounder fishing all day in Back Bay Sea Isle. So, um, I look forward to a great year. This is just my introduction video. Um, I'm going to keep driving here. I got like another 40 minutes left. And I'll do my best to document as much as I got from today. So, let's talk about what we're doing today. I'm, uh, I'm going ice fishing with this guy named John. Uh, I met him, I think, on a striper page. But most likely, I think it was on a shad page. I am not a big shad fisherman. I've fished them a few times, but they were really fun when I caught them. Um, and when I wanted to get into it more, I tried to hit up some guys that had more serious tackle or the right tackle, like spoons and, and uh, the right hooks. And he was somebody I hit up before. Ended up not actually ever buying anything off of him, but he was very welcoming and, and gave me a ton of information when I asked about it. I just I never ended up buying anything because I didn't pursue it that, that uh, I didn't pursue shad that much that season. So that was last year. Um, I saw him doing some ice fishing. I approached him thinking he was a fishing guide, and uh, he ended up just inviting me to come fish. I, I'm not looking for handouts, but I also don't want to insult anybody if they have a, you know, everybody's knowledge is valuable. I mean, this guy just invited me, and he's been very welcoming. I have, every time I talk to him about fishing, it's been probably two weeks since I initially contacted him about ice fishing. He's invited me multiple times. It's really just been a matter of weather. Um, why we haven't gotten out yet. Uh, today it's going to be cold. We were going to go up to uh, a lake in Wayne County yesterday. Um, he told me we were using tip-ups. He also told me we were doing jigging setups. I um, have done my research to where both of those situations have presented themselves to me before. I don't know which one's the easier one. Um, so I, uh, I'm going to assume tip-ups are. But I'm just in the mood to learn today. I uh, I really just like learning a new way to fish because uh, the only way to keep fishing going is to constantly be keeping to teach people how to fish. It's like uh, I grew up with a lot of bait shops where I was at, and those bait shops have closed over the years, so you really don't get to go back to get that that word of mouth history anymore. So I uh, I I've gone to Facebook for fishing and groups on there are great people are always very welcoming and that's why I'm doing this page I'm gonna do a lot of fishing trips by myself but I'm also willing to really drive anywhere to go fishing so if you got a trip in mind if you see this and you want to show me another way to fish um, send me a send me an email send me a message on Facebook I'll come fishing I, I love trying a new way of fishing I love learning how to catch a new fish so uh, I, by all means I'm open to it at any time that's what we're doing today. We're going up to the Poconos. Um, we're going to... Yeah, guys, so uh, like I said before, the plans changed a little bit, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit just so uh, we can keep it going. But, yeah, I, uh, I'm i going ice fishing today. That's what's happening. This is my first day ever going ice fishing. So most of my trips, uh, I'll, I'll most likely be fishing something I have an insight or know how to fish, but... Today, I have no clue what's going on. So what I'm gonna try to do is, uh, I'm obviously doing my quip with you here, going over what we're doing here. Um, I'm gonna try and get some video and pictures of the hike in. Um, I'm obviously gonna get some video and pictures of the fishing. And we're probably gonna call it pretty early today. Um, we're gonna start fishing around eight o'clock and probably be done around noon. I live about an hour from here. I told my girlfriend she, we were gonna do some stuff this afternoon so I don't want to be home too late because fishing trips can run pretty late usually so um, that's it that's what I'm doing going ice fishing in the Poconos and uh, hopefully what I'd like to do is, is I can do multiple ice fishing trips this year uh, seeing as like you know it always appears to be an expense an expensive expenditure it always looks like it's a uh, like I've been trying to get friends to go ice fishing for years now and every time you look it up it seems like you have to rent a nice shack you gotta get a guy to drill a hole you gotta go out to lake erie for some reason you can't go into a, a place down the street from your house obviously because of the weather um from what i seen from research you need ice to be at least six inches thick to even attempt to go on the ice first and then from there it's really just a matter of making sure the conditions are right to make sure the ice is stable from 
what I've researched. But, I mean, what the hell do I know? So, uh, yeah, that's that's really what I'm trying to get into this year. Is like, it, it doesn't seem like it's, uh, I think the misconception for me is that I, it appears to be an expensive hobby. Which it may be for all I know. Who the fuck knows? I mean, it's fishing. But, um... I, I don't think it's going to be as expensive as I think it is. And it seems a lot more of, like, just knowing the conditions and a little bit of hiking you do to get to the water. than having the right gear, opening the hole, and taking your time. Um, there is something I want to explore this year is the striper in Lake Wallenpopic. People have been telling me about this, and I've gotten some pictures of the striper. Um, in that lake that people are catching ice fishing, that blows my freaking mind. So, um, it's going to be a good year, guys. So, um, we met up off the turnpike and we're driving north to Belmont Lake, um, a little farther than I expected, but we're going to have some fun. Uh, what I'm excited about actually is, is that it's uh, a little bit more active lake. They said there's muskie, there's pickerel, um, apparently the bigger game fish. I don't know. So, I end up finding out. On the drive there, we're going to the lake we were supposed to go to yesterday. Um, John was like, yeah, it's just another 45 minute drive. Ends up being another hour and 20 minute drive north. But I don't give a shit. It's just making sure I have an answer for my girl when she wants to know what time we'll be home. But it was well worth the drive. Check in soon. I've ever taken for fishing. Um, holy crap. A lot of snow. A lot of crazy roads I was not expecting, but hell yeah. We are at Belmont Lake. Um, this is the access road going in. Hell of a day. Nine degrees. Here we go. This is gonna be fun. Uh -huh. You can catch them everywhere. It's just the funny thing is, is people, no matter what, are acclimated to following who's being the most successful. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. You test it. Until that bolt. Yeah, that frozen snow. Uh, I just stepped on. The frozen snow. Is that just frozen snow? Oh, this is flush on top. This freezes back over. Yeah. How long has it frozen? Like this season. Oh, it's pretty long. Has it? Yeah, it's been long. Well, does it, is there a point where it just it hits the, the freezing point and stays below it up here? Yeah. When's that about? Oh wow, make you feel a little better. <laughs> oh no, I mean, I'm, I'm following your process. They have like yeah. six guys are standing together there. Uh huh. Okay, so that's whatever the heck that comes to. I'd say a fucking half times six, you know, mm -hmm. multiply it up. But they also have huts. And a lot of times the guys in the yeah, I saw you got tons of tip ups, only a few big rods, different setups like that. Yeah, I figure. 
because it's like it's golden gold. It's yeah. only two points of spot. Mm-hmm. Here, spread it out, you can see which is the ball pit. Yeah. So kind of like when you're watching bait the bait boys. The lake is huge. On the acres, it's like, you know, it's like a four or five hundred acre lake. No, it's just not strong. If you look down to the bottom, you see the black ice at mm -hmm. the bottom? The bottom, mm -hmm. like, four inches are mm -hmm. probably yeah. black ice. Black yeah. ice is yeah, yeah, yeah. strong. So what she's going to do is she's going to measure the hole. Uh -huh. Right? And for us, our technique... She grabs the top of the hole. Because you're going to be ahead of us drilling holes while we're doing stuff. Uh huh. So is that the next hole? No. no. That's, that's, just, that's, that's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just making sure that wasn't like an indic indicative of the next hole. Or no, it's just, just marking. So yeah, every, yeah. every hole is going to have a line on that side of it. Mm -hmm. So we know how so deep, know how so deep, 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 deep to set the Okay. So I know how deep to set the okay. set them like that's, two to three okay. feet off the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll tip up to two foot short. I was gonna make them anyway when buy I got them at a yard sale. I look for stuff I guess all the time. So. Yeah, buy them at a yard sale is the easiest. I can make that in a second. Because you need the, the mechanisms. Okay. It's not the wood, it's the mechanisms. So what we do every single time is you gotta test them and make sure they work. Because they get banged around, the adjustments. Okay, it works. So I know it works. So now I'll set it up because mm -hmm. I know it works. We gotta test them because sometimes we'll put the line on. Possibly. Am I holding this, making sure I'm not touching the ground? You can lay it on the ground. Just don't Just making sure. I don't want to. I don't want to bump it out. <laughs> so you see the button? No, I, I like. I'm comfortable. I got a good ball. So I put this uh -huh. at our depth. Uh huh. See the yellow button? Yes. The button is going to be how far off the bottom we're setting the, the hook. So I'm going to set this one about three feet off the bottom. Okay. Uh, actually, okay, yeah. that's about four the shallow. Feet there, about two feet off the bottom. Okay. So reel this up. It has to go the right way. Mm -hmm. It has to go the right way. And then we stop the button. That way, when we catch fish every single time, all you have to do is go to the button. You never have to measure it anymore. The button is always. Pulling the string up kind of like a fly fish. Just doing a pull. Little wrap around your hand and pull.
So listen, that was exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, caught three yellow perch on tip-ups. Unfortunately, there was four of us. It wasn't my gear, and I'm not going to take any meat home. So I'm gonna watch. But I'm out of here. They're staying for a little bit. I'm heading home. Um, what a great experience. I caught a nice pickle while I was jigging. Using a medium spoon. Jigging a fat hit me now. And it was crazy. I kind of felt the hit set just like normal and that thing peeled line. So really want to thank John for bringing me out here. Teach me all this stuff today. It's amazing. These guys have been having some luck. All these shots. All these shacks and everything. Like Greg with these cleats. Lifesavers. All right, I'm gonna do a recap with you guys on the trip. Um, some things I learned today. One, this is not as expensive as I thought it would be. Um, so I met John, his wife Missy, and her brother Greg. Um, and they showed me the ins and outs of this. I mean, ice fishing, what I thought was expensive. Uh, how Greg put it, it really is as cheap as going to yard sales looking for people that have it. and not too expensive to buy and start off how you want um what i learned come prepared they had a sled they had everything they needed they showed me the whole process i have none of that type of stuff right now but it'll be easy to make um i dressed warm i was dressed right we didn't have to do as much of a hike as he explained before this one was right up on the water i mean literally i'm, I'm looking 200 yards at the water of the lake right now it's a huge lake it's gotta be like a six to eight hundred acre lake and I'll look at the specs of that later, but I mean, what a great experience. I, uh, I caught two yellow perch myself. They had a third one at the end. Um, I caught a pickerel on a jigging rod. John set me up with a, uh, a nice fishing rod and a jig and I had a fathead minnow on there and I caught myself a nice pickerel. My first fish I've ever caught on a rod and reel on a nice fishing, pretty awesome. The other ones I don't count, it's more like a hand line, like crabbing. I mean, so we're learning, I guess, as I go, but I guess it all counts. Um, they taught me the method, they showed me the maps. Getting the map seemed like the most important part. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just not as intimidating as I thought it would be. It really makes a lot more sense once they say and they bring up that, like, hey, just go to the yard sales, look for this stuff. People are getting rid of them. It's a lot cheaper than the old stuff, or a lot cheaper than the new stuff, and you don't need new stuff to catch fish. Um, but yeah. Caught yellow perch. I caught my first pick roll on the ice. Hopefully I get out for another trip. Um, Till next time, I want to thank John. I want to thank Missy. I want to thank Greg. They told me a lot today. Um, the next thing I did learn is I need to get a better camera to mount and keep you guys a little bit more involved. But for now, I got pictures. I took the video. I showed what I was doing, where we were at. And I'll tell you what, I had fun. Thanks a lot for listening. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to contact me on Facebook or contact me on Instagram. You can hit me up. My uh, information is on there. I don't got it on private. I got it on pretty much open. So hit me up if you ever want to talk or if you ever want to take me fishing. I am a person that loves to try somebody's new plan and try somebody's new fishing spot and learn a new way to fish. So uh, I'm going to get on the road here, but thanks a lot guys. Have a good one.